OK, here I'm going to solve this equation. 5 lots of x plus 1 all over 2 is equal to 2x minus 1 all over 5 plus 1. What we've got here is an equation with fractions in and also brackets in. This bracket here is quite clearly visible and it's quite clearly visible because you've got 5 lots of the bracket on the top line. However, there is another bracket present which I think you should get a colour out and indicate before you start. And this is the bracket on the right hand side in this term here because you've got all of 2x minus 1 is divided by 5. So what I need to do is put a bracket round all of that 2x minus 1. That's the first thing you should do before you start. And then you've got a plus 1 on the end. OK, let's get rid of the fractions. How do I get rid of the fractions? Well, I've got a 2 and a 5 to get rid of. The first thing I do is work out the LCM of 2 and 5. The smallest number that 2 and 5 go into is 10. So what I'm going to do is rewrite the equation with all the fractions with the bottom line being 10 instead of what they are in the question. So I'm going to take this first term and change the bottom line to 10. I'm going to take the second term and change the bottom line to 10. And that one there is not a fraction, so I'm not going to do anything with that. Just leave that alone for now. OK, to turn the 2 into 10, I need to multiply by 5. So to keep the first fraction the same, I need to times the top by 5. So I take 5 lots of the bracket, and I have to times it by 5. Well, if I said, what's 5 cats times 5? You'd say 25 cats. So 5 lots of the bracket means we've got 25 lots of the bracket. 5 lots of anything is 25 lots of anything. So we've got now, instead of 5 lots of the bracket, I've got 25 lots of the bracket. So that fraction is the same as that. I've just times the top and the bottom by 5. In the same way that a half is the same as 2 quarters if you times the top and bottom by 2. OK, so this one here, I need to take the 5 and turn it into 10 by doubling it. So I have to double the top line. So the bracket needs to be doubled. So I put 2 lots of the bracket. So I've changed that into that, that into that, and I've left that unchanged. I've now got an equation with brackets in, but I've also got fractions, and the fractions are all over 10 this time. I can get rid of the over 10s all at once by simply now multiplying everything through by 10. If I times that by 10, you simply get 25 lots of x plus 1, because the share by 10, when you times it by 10, just disappears. Let's now put equals, get rid of this share by 10 by timesing by 10 as well. So you just get 2 lots of 2x minus 1. But don't forget, you're timesing that by 10, you're timesing that by 10. You must times everything by 10 for, for us to get a true statement. Let me show you with this sum. 1 plus 3 equals 4, times it by 10, times it by 10, and times that by 10. You get another true statement coming out. It's a different true statement, but it still is a true statement. So if you times something by 10, you're going to times everything by 10. So I've times that by 10, I've times that by 10, I need to times that by 10. We've now got rid of the fractions. Get rid of the brackets by expanding out. So 25 times x is 25x. 25 times plus 1 is plus 25. Equals 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 10. So we get to that. Let's tidy up a little bit on the right hand side first. So I've got 25 x's plus 25 on the left, 4 x's and then minus 2 plus 10 is plus 8 on the right. I've got x's on both sides. Which side's got most x's? Well the x's are more on the left. 25 x stays put on the left then. I'm going to take the 4 x from the right to the left and it becomes a minus 4 x on the left. Swap sides, swap sign. The two numbers, the plus 8, well that stays put. First thing I write down, I can drop the plus, stays the same, plus 8, 8. And then the plus 25, dragged across the other side, makes it minus 25 on the other side. Swap sides, swap sign. Let's tidy up, 25x take away 4x is 21x equals, be careful with the right hand side, you've got 8 minus 25, that is a negative, the negatives win by 17. So negative 17 on the right hand side. However, I don't want 21x, I want x. So to go from 21x to get a single x, you simply share the left by 21. So you share the left by 21, you also share the right by 21. 
So you get minus 17, and you're going to share that by 21. That's a really awkward decimal, so I'll leave it as a fraction. The answer is x equals minus 17 over 21. That's the end of this video.